Hey again everyone, it's Brittany from The Pretty Plus and I'm back again with another grocery haul. This is my second week in December, your second week in December as well, but my second grocery haul and um, you guys really seem to like my first one so I will go ahead and keep doing them because I like doing them. But um, this grocery haul is a little different on the account of, um, I, and this month is a little different, I'm trying to spend less and shop things that I have in my refrigerator and my freezers. So I'm going to show you what's in my refrigerator and my freezers to probably make it see make more sense for you. Um, but with that being said, first I'm going to show you the things I got for my groceries and then I will show you my freezer outside, my freezer inside, and my refrigerator. And hopefully it makes more sense to you. So today I went to Aldi and Walmart. I spent $8.11 at Aldi and $19.30 at Walmart. I did go a little over budget because I bought this Chestra because my daughter's sick, so um, really not a big deal. I only went a few bucks over, and I will show you my meal plan. This is what I usually write it in. I'm just going to cover the bottom part up there. Um, this is what I usually write it in, my um, Erin Condren planner. This week we're doing pizza, lasagna, because we're having some people over for my niece's birthday. Um, baked potatoes with um, salsa chicken, grilled chicken with some freezer potatoes I have, ham and cheese casserole, which is from the freezer, and then I wrote wraps, but I'm changing that to quesadillas probably, and then we'll be out of town for my sister-in-law's college graduation. I'm going to go through all this pretty quickly here because it's a really small haul, but the first thing is the Zarbi's Baby uh, Soothing Chest Rub. Again, my daughter is almost three months old and she's sick. This is not focusing, there we go. She's sick and this was really recommended, so we're gonna use that on her. I got a tomato for wraps. I got turkey for wraps. This is about a little over a pound and a, well, about a pound and a quarter um, of the Butterball Oven Roasted Turkey. I got some of the oven ready lasagna for lasagna night, ricotta for lasagna night. All the other ingredients I already have on hand, so that was really nice. Um, orange juice, some bananas, that's from Aldi. So all this was from Walmart. Bananas, two things of eggs, a thing of garlic bread for lasagna night. These muffins were on sale and my husband always looks at them when we're there and wishes they're on sale. So since they were, um, I picked them up. And then oranges. And that's it. So, this is my refrigerator. We have like the water thing, double-sided door. Refrigerator, freezer. Over here I write every week what our menu is. That way my husband kind of knows. I don't think it really matters because I'm the one who cooks all the time anyway. But I figured that I would post it up there and it would keep us a little more accountable for like, say like, oh, let's just go out to eat. And he'd be like, no, it's Tuesday. You said we were going to do baked potatoes. Like, let's just do baked potatoes. And that's pretty helpful. And then I have all this cute stuff up here. And thank you card from our mailman for giving him a uh, Christmas gift. Anyway, um, I'm going to open up and show you. I've already taken the time to kind of clean out my refrigerator because it was full of like leftovers that were probably not good anymore and things like that. So I, full disclosure, it doesn't look this neat all the time, but it usually is pretty bare because I go week by week and um, I try not to have any waste. So welcome to my crib. That's how I feel right now. This is it. Over here on my door um, is just like dressings, things like that. We have French, house, uh, three different kinds of barbecue sauces. Our favorite is the Aldi Kansas City. Um, it's really good. Um, we tried to use the Aldi mustard, couldn't do it. We went back to the Plotchman's and this is the only stuff my husband will let us use. He needs a ketchup snob. We have some ranch back there and then Trader Joe's soyaki. Up here is just some butter, minced garlic, um, brown sugar, and lemon juice. That's all that's up there. So up here, hmm, there we go. We have four things of eggs because today I'm getting ready to do some like freezer cooking for our breakfasts. So I got a lot of eggs. We have some bacon. This is the center cut from Aldi. It's 
one of my favorites. It's pretty inexpensive and it's a pretty okay cut of bacon. We have some classico tomato and basil. Behind that is some mayo. We have some Parmesan and Romano. And then back there is the Cleveland Kraut and Marinar. It's spicy. I like it, but I think that it keeps making me sick. My stomach's probably just not used to having all the fermented goodness. And then over here we have ricotta behind everything. That's for lasagna night. Cottage cheese, sour cream, French onion dip. Some Greek yogurt ranch dip. Some of the, I'm trying to see if you can see what I'm pointing at. Some of the um, Winshuler's pepper jack cheese spread. Some cream cheese. And this is Terrapin Rich Farms sweet meat and horseradish mustard. It's really good with like crackers and cheese. It was a big hit at our friend's giving. Next, I have taken you down some. This shelf is typically my shelf and the shelf is my husband's shelf. Um, it also holds some beer back there because the, just the height of everything, that's just where it goes. Um, but on my shelf, I have this basket here that has oranges, apples, and some cheese from my Aldi cheese advent calendar. I haven't been keeping up on eating my cheese like I should. Some leftover turkey, the significantly spicy hummus from Aldi, and then this is chili that my mom sent home with me because she made a huge batch and... I love it, so she gave me this thing, and Brett doesn't like it, so I've just been eating it myself. On Brett's shelf, his basket has a bunch of applesauce, and then a few of the cheeses that I didn't want from the Aldi one that I gave to him, and he'll eat for me. He has classic hummus. He has vegetables here that I just chop up and we share. This has cucumbers, tomato, and carrot in it right now. And then back there are some Angry Orchards from a sampler pack that we got. It has four different kinds, like rosé, pear, apple, and then lighter apple. So down here we have like drink type of things, orange juice, um, the hazelnut coffee mate creamer that I like. My husband does some Premier Protein. I used to do these all the time after my weight loss surgery, but they make me sick now. So he likes them and he has a few in there to cool down. Some 1% milk and then some Oliver soft red wine. Over here is probably my favorite drawer. It's the cheese and meat drawer. <laughs> it's packed full, as you can see. I have um, some of these that I used for a Friendsgiving. Um, these are um, the, they're from Rise and Roll Bakery. I believe it's an Amish community here in Indiana. And um, my mom and dad went to like a festival and picked up some of these for me because I asked them to. Um, this one's the garden vegetable cheese. It's not the one that I asked for. They renamed them and repackaged them, so I wanted the Fiesta, but she got me the garden vegetable. It's been pretty good. I've shredded a whole thing of it and used it, and it was really good. And then this is the butter cheese, which is always good. And then this is just part of a big two-pound package from Sam's Club of the Monterey and Colby Jack cheese marble stuff. So I either shred or chop these up as I need them. Some of my favorite Gouda cheese from Aldi. Slice this. We have the um, oven roasted butterball turkey for wraps. We have some of the smoked uncured ham from Aldi. We really like this stuff and I usually just keep it in there just in case we need sandwiches or anything. I have some of the turkey pepperoni for pizza night. Um, some Colby and Monterey Jack shredded cheese. I got this at a really good deal at Walmart. It was like four bucks for two pounds. And the same with the mozzarella. It was, it's two pounds, four bucks. And even further, we have our vegetable drawer, which has some sweet butter lettuce, some garden salad mix, some carrots back there, some grape tomatoes, cucumber, a beef steak, tomato for wraps, and some onions in this bag. And then the bottom drawer just has apples and oranges. And then down here, you can't really see them. I'll try to move it. Down here, I just have more condiments. And that's not super exciting. Pickles and Asian stuff. So, on the other side of our refrigerator is our freezer, obviously. The top shelf has vegetables. Um, a bunch of cauliflower back here that I froze from my baby shower. A few bananas, 
some spinach, and then our few lemons back there. I don't know if lemons freeze well. I just did it. I thought maybe if I needed zest or something quickly, it would be there. Don't know. We'll see how it works if I try to one day. This shelf has frozen things that were like leftovers. Mainly, this is my husband's fish oil. Um, there's a few peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I I took these to the hospital with us when we were in there with Clara. Um, they, you know, defrosted by midday and we were able to eat them. Enchilada sauce, queso dip, ham and beans. Back here, these four are like from Friendsgiving uh, pies served in like stored in two pieces so I can get them out and my husband and I can have like a dessert without having to like go get something or bake something. So these are two pies and then those are two pieces of cake in each of them. This is like a Tex-Mex thing in a serving that's like a size for me to do with like a salad or something. Green bean casserole, mac and cheese. Getting really weird on the angles but if I try to hold it myself it's really shaky so I don't want to do that. But this shelf has a bunch of meat. So there's like probably like five pounds of chicken either diced or sliced thin or just separated into pound packages. Um, some Tyson chicken patties. Back there we have some bacon, a few steaks, some tilapia, some vegetarian um, sausage patties which I really like randomly. Down here is all bread. So we have some bagels that were marked down at a discount that I can use for breakfast sandwiches, a loaf of bread that I threw in there because we don't eat bread too often, rolls back there. Over here on the side I have some of my um, pre-made breakfast burritos, the uh, McDonald's pack. They're really good. Down here we have a little shelf of these chicken melts which are some of my favorites. They're tiny but they're good for a snack or with like, for me, since I don't eat a ton at a time, I can do one of these with like a few sides and it's a full meal. And then at the bottom I have ice packs, but that's it. That's all that we have in my freezer and my refrigerator. And then I'll show you the freezer outside, which I'm not cleaning up first because it's cold outside and I don't feel like standing out there. Okay, without a doubt, my freezer is not very clean down there especially. There's nothing down there so I'm not going to pan around for it. I'm just going to show you what's in here. So I'll start at the bottom because there's only one thing down here. It's a pretty good story though. I got five of these <laughs> honeysuckle white turkeys. Sorry the lighting is weird. I'm outside in my garage so I didn't feel like bringing my light set up but um, I got five of these for $4.52 each. They were like four to four fifty two each. And I saved like twelve to fifteen dollars on each of them. So I have one left. I did this around this time last year. One left and they're really, really good. So great find. My husband makes fun of me for it. He likes to tell the story. So over in my door I have some things that I made like in preparation for having a baby. I did a lot of um, freezer meals and um, it actually really helped uh, leading up to having the baby like for the last few weeks and then right after the baby. Just having this stuff has helped and then in this month and next month when we're trying to, you know, make our budget smaller, pinch our pennies a little bit, it's helped to have some of these ready that I don't have to do like full-fledged meal hauls. And that's why I wanted to show you this because I didn't want you guys to think like, what are they eating? Are they eating out all the time or what? But some of the things that I put on my menu, most of the things that I've been putting on my menu, I already have most of the ingredients or it's already totally cooked. Like, um... I have this rustic chicken stew. It's a crock pot meal and all I have to do is put it in the crock pot and then you can serve it over mashed potatoes or noodles and I have noodles and potatoes so I think that's on the menu for next week or something. I have two of these bags which are um, potato skins. There's about 10 to 12 in each of those. I have a meatloaf that is really gross. I need to throw it away. We tried one and I, I hated it. I don't know what recipe, I don't remember what recipe I used, but it was not a good one, so I do not recommend. Over here I have some more like processed stuff. These are fish sticks, they're chicken pot stickers, and then Kung Pao chicken mini egg rolls. Those are all from Aldi, and I like the Chinese stuff. I haven't tried this yet. This was a Target find. Uh, 
pork tenderloin, five dollars off this package, and I think it was only like seven or eight. There are two packages of the wheat tortillas from Kroger that I got for 69 cents a piece, so I stocked up on them, put them in there. A thing of hash browns, I use those for like making breakfast type of things for us, so those are just back there. Thing of tilapia, two large things of chicken from Aldi. I get them when they're on sale and I freeze them, and then I get them out, portion them out to, you know, around a pound each. and. It just works out really well for us. Is dollar sixty nine is the sale price it goes on, and sometimes you can even find like a dollar to three dollars off of that as well. Down here, I have a package of ground beef from Target with the five dollar off, so I think it made it about five bucks. And then these are some of the other things that I made for freezer meals. This is chicken fried rice. I have baked ziti, chicken fajita noodle, casserole, cheesy ham and potato casserole. I know that for sure is on my menu this next week. Chicken divan, which I didn't like, but my husband does, and then taco bake, which I also am not a huge fan of, but it's not the worst. And then there are six mini lasagnas back there. And that's all that's out here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope that seeing my freezer and my refrigerator and everything helped make more sense of my hauls since they have been pretty small. So for this week, um, I did go $4 over what I had budgeted, and that's in part of two reasons. The first one is that my daughter's cough rub stuff was about 6 bucks, and we didn't know we would need to get that when I was making the list. And um, the other reason was because it would only be about $2 over, but the way we do our budget is that everything rounds up from one transaction and the change goes into our savings account and so um and like it was eight dollars and eleven cents at aldi i'm counting it as nine and so 19.30 at walmart and i'm counting it as 20 so hope that makes sense um yeah i hope you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to like and subscribe and um you can find me on instagram facebook pinterest twitter at the pretty plus bye guys